Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are ya? Taurus, it's time to do your love energy check-in for the end of November of 2023, or whenever you clicked on this reading, because my readings are timeless. It's just the energy I'm pulling on for your reading. And decided to come and hang out with me for a little bit. I do appreciate you for doing that. If you could return the love for me, please, and love the like down here and help get me into the algorithm, help our family to grow, I would be very appreciative of that. Also, subscribe, set the bell over here, please. I do go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from Aries to Pisces, plus a card for each sign. So come and hang out and be a part of the fam. Also, feel free to page the swords all over my channel. Check out my playlist for some healing music bass covers with Bill over here. He's a Gemini. He's cool. Sometimes his A string kind of reverberates like the beginning of I Feel Fine, like... But we work with it. It works out. He's cool. Also, I've got some pick a card readings where my decks pick you. And all of your weeklies, monthlies, lives, and otherwise neatly prioritized and organized into playlists for your viewing enjoyment. So make it a day and come and hang out with me. All right, and you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Archer Astrology. I'm like everywhere. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com, okay? All the info and links are in the description and comments down below. All right, let's go for it, Taurus. We're going to take a look at your feelings, the energies around you, same with them, where you're coming from and going to, and uh, what's coming out, just kind of like a whatever comes out. We're going to use my Grand Theft Auto deck here, the Urban Tarot for your base cards, and then... The Titanic deck will throw a buttload of clear, a whole boatload of clarifiers on it, okay? Over 2,200 souls on that boat. There's stories in that deck, and they're good stories, too. Sun card to the Four of Cups. Cancer Leo energy already with temperance underneath that. All right, so right now you're just wanting a little break to breathe, to find some balance, to just rest. That's half the deck that popped out as we're getting ready to go, but the Two of Wands is underneath it. It's a lot for a pre-shuffle. So see, there's a lot on your mind, all right? All right, so let's go for it and see what's going on for you guys. Just saw the Six of Wands there to the World card, so that's good too. All right. Whoa, Taurus. Easy, Taurus. Three of Wands, Six Pentacles to the Emperor, Aries Energy. Aries Taurus Cusper Energy shows up. The Aries Taurus Soap Opera still going on over here. All right, very similar to the Sag Cap or the Leo Cancer one too. All right, let's, get, let's pull on all of it then. Give me everything you've got. Highest and greatest good messages only, please and thank you. That's a free wreck here. All right, let's go for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus and the one on their mind? End of November 2023, full moon in Gemini, sun in Sagittarius. What do we have? Let's go. Whoa, house of cards. Some of you might have a grand trine up in the sky right there in their birth chart. Possibly house of cards energy. Look at that. The deck's kind of jamming a little bit too. All right, that means I want a little clear. I want it a little clear. There we go. There we go. All right, let's balance it out. Let's go. Two shuffles, Taurus. Here we go. Thank you. One and two. Let's love this deck for the terrific Torians. Toro, Toro. Bottom of the deck, the outcome is the Six of Cups. There's a deep soulmate connection here between the two of you guys, and the outcome is the Five of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles underneath it to the Moon and the Hermit. 666 shows up with the Hermit card as well. Five of Pentacles shows an end to this, to come into this, to come together. The outcome is, 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 is you guys miss each other. And there's going to be an end to the silence and a meeting of the minds. One of you guys is manifesting this under the moon energy. The moon's really playing out big time for you guys. Six of Cups. All right, Scorpio energy. Let's go. Right out of the gate, as I say Scorpio energy, your present position is the Five of Cups. You feel like you missed the boat on something. You're bummed about it, too. And you're just wanting a little break to kind of breathe. You're just looking for some Taurus time, actually, to yourself to, to kind of assess the situation, reflect, and maybe just, just time for yourself, time for your family, that sort of a thing, and just a little break from, from the craziness. But you feel like you missed out on something, too. Ace of Swords is your immediate influence. Wanting to talk words or something that, that are coming in. And this has the airplane up here, that purple airplane at the top of the Ace of Swords, Libra energy. It does show possibly, like, I'm seeing a Taurus that, like, like if you're at work, you've got a lot of PTO time, use it or lose it, so you're, you're planning that. If you're self-employed, you're adjusting your schedule a little bit, because something here, you're making time for yourself to pencil yourself into your schedule, and you could even be making travel plans on this. Like, just taking a break to get away from this energy and, and reset. It's like, even if it's just a weekend getaway. Nine of Pentacles, your goal or destiny. 
it's that little Taurus time. Look at that Virgo energy on this here. A spa day, relaxing, cucumber eye masks and all of it. I mean, that's 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 like getting your nails did, getting your hair done. It, it's like it, it's it's like you're just planning. Maybe it's like a weekend with the girls or a weekend with the family or a weekend with the guys. You know, like the guys just want to play fantasy football and 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 hold like Christmas wrapping tubes with as guitars and stuff. And if it's the girls, you just want to go shopping, go out to eat, not have to worry about a diet, pig out, get the dessert. It's that sort of energy that you just, and if it's family time, maybe you just want to go to Wally World. I don't know. Disneyland? Anyhow, uh, the 19th might resonate as well as the 5th, okay? All right, maybe the 1st or the 9th as well. You could be a life path number 1, 5, or 9, possibly. All right, so looking at your past influence, the 10 of Pentacles, more Virgo energy. That means the 9 and the 10 of Pentacles were in the order of appearance in the deck. So, yeah. Maybe it's even some kind of a spiritual retreat or something that you're going to incorporate into this little Taurus time that you're trying to take for yourself to get yourself grounded and get your Ten Pentacles 10-year plan going here. Whether it's the life, the love, the business, well, it's Ten Pentacles, so it's freaking all of it. And that's a, that's the freaking tree of life on there, too, going on. So your chakras are lining up from this little break here. It's going to give you the time to reconnect to the earth and to yourself. All right, the blockages you're going to overcome are the Ten of Cups. 1010 shows up as well as a connection. Could be an angel number you've been seeing. Or you're a portal baby. Maybe you uh, follow the portals or something to that effect. But you're overcoming to find your stability, your love, your happiness. I said it was all of it. The tens are completions, full completions in tarot. So you're overcoming and achieving. Okay? Which takes us towards your future influence. The five of swords. Taking only what you need to survive and using the words wisely. This is remembering every word about that day. But using that knowledge in your favor so that history cannot does not will not repeat itself type of a thing it's kind of like that second chance that you've been thinking about happening fives and tens in this one as well two shows up could be numbers that resonate to you or dates that takes us towards your incoming energy which is a page of pentacles a little bit of knowledge comes in a little see learning from things like the teacher and the students show up here Maybe something contributes to a maturity factor that comes out under this one as we go forward into it, okay? It's kind of like that fight that has you so nervous to take chances. You're getting new knowledge or something new is coming in that you're learning about that's going to take you there, okay? Going forward into that one, we have the Ace of Pentacles as your environmental factors. The new beginning that you guys both want coming up here to start up. The Ten of Pentacles idea from the past that y'all have been thinking about, the environmental factors say the time's right to put it into motion on this one, okay? All right, Capricorn energy off of that one, too. The motivators of the Zodiac, big daddy energy, all right? The daddies of the Zodiac are home. That takes us towards your inner emotions, which is temperance, Sagittarius energy. And your inner emotions are, are creating this for yourself. Lemons out of lemonade. It, 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 the healing yourself, bring in the energies you want, manifesting. You're possibly, maybe you are a manifesting generator or something. The number 14 may resonate as well to you. But this here is, is, is approaching and closing a physical gap and being balanced. Having the earth and the waters, the hearts and the head and the emotions all lining up to bring this in. Maybe also some creative energy off of that too. So it is a deep soul connection on this one here. You guys go way back, at least six lifetimes, okay? And I'm um, seeing you've got strong Virgo in this reading, as well as Sagittarius and Scorpio, Libra's here, Aquarius as well, and some Capricorn. All right, so let's get some clarifiers on this here. The energies we're pulling from are actually seeing a lot of major energy into this one here. Scorpio season could have been an effect, too. Angel number 5-5 five, five, and 10 shows up. That's two portals, the 5-5 five, five and the 10-10 ten, ten portals. That was May and October. Those could be dates that are factoring into the current energies right now and i don't know what made me slow my roll on my voice okay somebody's calming down thinking their words wisely possibly four of pentacles is over here my energy either you're either you're on theirs or theirs on yours because this is jack and rose on the door holding on to to what they hold dear to themselves the clarifiers are the nine of pentacles the seven of swords queen of cups to the ace of swords a pair of aces shows up as well too one one is another connection or the 11th and with this one here it's it's kind of like you're just going to want to get to a point that you end the cycle the nine of pentacles to the nine of pentacles is here as well as a pair of aces ace of swords on pairs on this so you guys are meeting each other and coming together you both want this to work out and you want to take those five swords from this right here your future influence and kind of filter those out just leave the other two swords so you each have your communication those two swords are right here ace of swords and ace of swords there's your guys two aces okay and they're being blanketed by the queen of cups and the king of swords mature words 
and an unconditional mother's love okay that takes to this point here so it's like you got to a point here with these repeating cards that you got to a point of a, of working on a cycle that you feel like completely constantly repeats itself like bill murray and groundhog day and i just heard don't drive angry don't drive angry this time it's like those frustrations that you get like when you're caught when you're in the car when you get in the car in the morning and the low tire pressure lights on and you're like duck i just i just checked the air pressure in this thing yesterday everything was fine i told them to check the air pressure it's fine Ugh, that sort of a thing and what it is it's that pressure and the coldness the shrinkage on it two of swords it's that it's that ability to you see as it gets colder outside then the air in the tires will compress and shrink and the sensors will think the tire is slow even though the air is still the same amount the temperature has changed then have you ever noticed how if you just drive the car for 15 minutes or so that all of a sudden the tire light goes out and you're like okay well that was interesting what happened there it the tire warmed up from being driven and the air re-expanded and the light goes off okay so it, it's it's releasing that cold pressure of, of the cold the being out in the cold that whole energy and allowing the air in the tire to expand so the sensors can then see that things are actually okay it was it was just all about the pressure okay this little break will help you overcome a lot of the cold pressure that you've been feeling from the past and your tire pressure light will go off okay um it'll it'll like it's just going to open your heart chakra up more ten of swords ten 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 which one's missing the ten of wands the tower card that's where the ten of wands are hidden there because you're still carrying the burdens of something about this fight from the past here 217 could resonate scorpio sagittarius energy with the seven of pentacles underneath that july 10th could be a date that resonates to you as well yeah wow there's the nine of wands nice justice page of wands nine and ten swords are blanketing over the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups right oh hold on come back here see how the nine of swords jumped the end the silence is what is what's getting you in this nine of swords this isn't up all night playing the music on repeat type of a thing this was the silence the silence is what's causing the nine of swords situation where you're up in your head playing staring on the ceiling on repeat just in your head right um the the passenger in the titanic were just fine at night because they could hear the engines running they could hear the water the hull was vibrating it wasn't until the engines stopped and the vibration stopped in the middle of the atlantic ocean at night that they were like oh something's up it's the silence that that put a little blockage onto your ten cups ten pentacles plan that you had going on with that tower underneath it too and I pulled 217 off of that because the energy depicted is 217 a.m. Titanic time, three minutes before the the hull failed and everything snapped. You're like, it's it's all I just heard Taurus say. That's a good that's a good one, Archer. I'm about three minutes away from the snap point, ready to go on break, ready for a little holiday. You know, <laughs> just get a little time to myself. That sort of a thing. <laughs> but it's it's still your wish, and this is something that's going to come back up to the surface to allow it to go the distance here and sing like a swan song. This actually came out in Aries, so it could be an Aries Taurus Cusper. That connection is showing up on this one here. It's like a whole other network. The Four of Wands to the Knight of Wands. Wallace Hartley, the violinist on the Titanic, his violin was down at the ocean at the bottom with the Titanic for over 100 years, and then after so long, bobbed up to the surface and was found, and it's now on display. It didn't really just bob up to the surface. A, a team, an expedition found it, all right? But that's that's what you're finding here. You're finding that violin to sing the last song, that gets you to your four of wands wish this could be a twin energy the fox and the hound shows up with this one it's because you guys actually do you guys actually wished and manifested each other in this situation okay and that ten pentacles to the ten of cups shows that it was an energy that you guys both wanted it's the combination of of happiness in the heart happiness in the 3d happiness in the 5d ten cups ten pentacles on that one all right but the overlying energy on it, the clarifiers, are what's really bringing it to light in this here for something different. And that tower card resonates. It's like the little break will help you get over the past manipulations, the past, the past, um, what else, what else am I looking at? Seer card. The past manipulation, it's going to allow your heart, your chakras to all open up. Seer energy. That was the card I needed. It was the bottom of the deck. All of your chakras are going to come into alignment and you're going to start feeling less five of cups because I kept looking at the five of cups and it was like you need to look at that archer going in this direction towards your ten cups that was underneath here enough that it made me pull it back out of the deck to see. It's almost like being told you missed something archer look again right and that's kind of what you're you're it's 
Spirit saying it to you. It's that second chance. Look again. You're wanting them to look again. You're wanting to look again. And like it's it's kind of like you've been thinking about giving them a second chance. Page of Wands. To just to just talk and to see where this goes. But you know your words matter a lot. This is William Murdoch, the man who said, "The hardest starboard, full speed astern." Um, when he said those words, there was no thought. It was straight intuition. He did not think. He just reacted. Okay. Page of Wands energy shows the communication comes straight from the chakra, straight from the intuition, which is going to strengthen as you get as you get more through in this week ahead. You're going to start seeing more signs that come in and more things that help guide you in the right direction. It could all tie to this little trip, this little break, even if you're not actually planning a vacation or a cruise or whatever. And it's really just, well, no, I'm just going to put my phone in silent mode and disappear for two days, whatever. It, it's your break for your tourist time and however you want it. It's, it'll help to clear that energy in the mindset so that you guys can both realize that the things you had, and that's what they're doing. I just heard, don't know what you've got till it's gone. I remember that song. That's what it is here. So while you're taking the time to get all relaxed and more comfortable and calm, they're actually starting to find their own energy and realizing what they had. Maybe they didn't realize it before because they didn't realize how much stuff you had going on too. And they're dumping all their stuff on you, page of, page of wand style. And and you're like, whoa, wait, hold it, I got stuff going on too. And so something had to just something had to break, but they're realizing they're realizing what they effed up. Nine of Cups. See? So they're 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 happy. They might even look happy for checking them out or snooping on them. But in reality, that cup is missing. And you've got it. Nine of Cups on this here. Cause look. This dude, this Pisces dude on this card, he don't look happy. He's like, yeah, I got nine gold chalices. I'm on first class ocean liner. I would wish I had some ice. There's one thing missing, all right? You're in 10 cups in your reading, but the clarifiers are pulling that. And the king of pentacles is here that shows me there could be an age difference or maturity difference, but you still want to communicate about things, eight of wands. Spirit's actually guiding the communication. There's something divinely guided between the two of you guys that keeps it going. So give me this for a second here. You know what? They've noticed this. Because it's it's really the ability to multitask better than anyone. You've got that. You can ten of cups. You can ten of pentacles. And they didn't keep up with it. You're a very unique person. Knight of cups. There was only one African American couple on the Titanic. This is a very unique energy. Knight of cups. And it's like maybe maybe like I mean you you have the ability to make sure that the meals are ready and that the fridge is stocked and that the kids are ready. And like maybe they never noticed or even said thank you. Or it, and it's not like you'd sit there and pull everything out of the grocery bag and be like, I bought this, I bought this, here's the milk, here's the apples. But like if you know if they would just be like, Wow, hey, thanks. You'd have felt happy, Knight of Cups. Because you knew there was more to this. Seven of Pentacles to the Eight of Wands. Look who's back. Yeah. Right there shows that the communication on to it was about that. All you wanted to do was a thank you, focusing on money and just looking into the little points that passed out is what they're that's what they're doing. They're not thinking about love because they're thinking about the communication just like you are. So they've noted this. Maybe their childhood contributed something to this. Page of Pentacles, there's the Knight of Cups again, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, see, they didn't use their words wisely. Straight up. They just didn't, right? The chariots at the bottom of the deck. There was an age difference or a maturity difference into this one here. Um, they're realizing more, though, what they contributed to the situation. That's part of what's going on in the silence here, because you guys both have the Ace of Swords left behind so that you could still communicate when you guys were ready. All right. So it's like the fight, this Five of Swords fight, it had them all so freaking nervous that like you're not going to forgive them and like th if that doesn't work maybe you're afraid that something hasn't passed on they haven't passed on it's like well if we're not out of this mindset why are we going to do that again but yet you don't realize that you both have been doing the work to get to that point chariot energy on the ten of cups i'm seeing over there too all right so maybe it was like the fight made them realize that they took you for a lot of granted Taurus. i'm totally seeing that one here it's kind of like five of wands they took you for granted leo energy it's it's kind of like they realized that you were that one special bracelet that wasn't like costume jewelry or day-to-day -day life that they that it's it's that one bracelet that you only put on for a special occasion it doesn't come out all the time and be, it's because of its worth or its value whether it's the actual dollar amount or just straight up sentimental value because it was your mom's or your grandma's or something that it's only taken on on special occasions with the sun only to make you feel happy they had to realize that they had to know your worth and your value they had to awake to the situation to see that you're their happiness there's happiness in here strong leo energy just took me over i felt that the the warmth of the sun the radiant energy off of that this this got them to this point so 
let's see with the sun down here give me give me everything we got on this i like this three of swords the emperor the knight of no nope, knight that's the king of pentacles there's the ten of wands it's there with that sun at the bottom of the deck aries energy leo energy taurus virgo sagittarius as well as libra on this one here see this is learning from the past page of pentacles to the three of swords you two are kind of like a diamond in the rough. And John Jacob Astor on the King of Pentacles shows me the confirmation on the age difference and the maturity difference. Because um, he was, he, one, richest man on board the Titanic. Two, had a much younger wife named Madeline with him. But you're the grand architect of all this going on here and working with spirit to create it and make it happen. This emperor was Thomas Andrews, the ship's designer, who had notebooks about everything down to the screws and the coat hooks. All right, He knew his ships inside and out. And you're going to end this because you put it away and came to the point of a decision here that brings you guys back so you can approach each other on the Six of Cups soulmate connection and, and work with the differences and close the physical gap, close the energetical gap, and just wind up being happy. There, This Taurus time that's coming in is putting a very rare serendipitous set of um, butterfly effects into motion here that's going to bring you guys together on the same level. Something serendipitously is working behind the scenes on this one because you guys do have happiness here with each other. Wow, interesting. You have got Cancer and Leo. Four of Wands is here for some Aries. Pisces is here as two. Virgo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, and Gemini. Scorpio, too. So, hope that helps. If it did, let me know down below. Leave a comment. Let me know how it resonates and such. I know it takes me a moment sometimes to respond, but I always do. Um, and love that like for me, of course. And uh, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm like everywhere. Wow. Overwhelming. Do you feel that? That's a lot, Taurus. See, you need your Taurus time. Even you're sitting here going, yeah, Archer, it's been a lot. So I love you, Taurus. I'm sending you a hug because you earned it. You deserve it. All right. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram and everywhere. And remember, Taurus, this will resonate to any and all placements of Taurus within your chart. You're all in this together because you're not just your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, but all the parts of your charts, okay? And we are FHA compliant here, and we'll read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. Um, Till next time, appreciate you for being here. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com, all right? Until next time, thank you, Spirit, for the messages. We are very grateful, and thank you, Taurus, for being here. Until next time, namaste. Peace and love. Archer out. Yeah, cheer. See ya.